woke up one Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to our live broadcast on Facebook by the Mountain of Grace and Deliverance Ministries. Um, our Sunday morning worship service that we call the refreshing moments in the presence of the Lord. We are beginning right now and uh, shortly you have the worship session come to you. Just open up your hearts and worship with the Lord. And I believe that as the message of today comes after the worship, the Lord will show you a token for good. The message of today is the mystery of satanic courts. The mystery of the satanic courts. I'll be right back right now. Stay tuned.
Beloved, you are welcome to Refreshing Moments on Sunday mornings, Refreshing Moments from Mountain of Grace and Deliverance Ministries, broadcasting live to you on Facebook from the Bachuna Spintex area in Accra, Tema. And this is our first broadcast, and we're going to continue to do this every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. or 8 GMT to 10 GMT. Um, so always connect with us, and you will see the hand of God work with you. Now, this broadcast is not just to give knowledge and understanding to people and the people of God, but it's also to bring deliverance and to shatter every work of darkness assigned against you, your family, and whatever you do. It is a broadcast that is spiritually, uh, spiritually oriented. It's a broadcast that is aimed at liberating you and liberating everything that is yours that is under the capture and the hold of darkness. It is a broadcast that God has assigned to bring grace upon you, knowledge, understanding, illumination, and discoveries in the things of the spiritual. And this broadcast is to bring you a lot of liberty and to let God's grace rest upon you so that people can be redeemed, restored to their original uh, purposes and original destiny as the Lord has signed it. And so it's going to be a broadcast that will come to you every uh, Sunday morning, 8 GMT or 8 a.m. to 12 uh, to 10 a.m. 8 GMT to 10 GMT. But I want to tell you that today I want to talk about something very important. My name is Reverend Prophet Isaac Kujo. And because of the grace that God has put upon us, you will not just listen to this broadcast. By the time we are done with this broadcast, you will receive liberation. At the end of the message, there will be 10 prayer points. We're going to pray, connecting with the power of God to see liberty, testimonies coming to the people of God. God is ever willing to give people liberty, ever willing to let you live a meaningful life, ever willing to live a life of liberty and at ease. Uh, there could be challenges, but God has always assigned us to surmount every challenge that comes our way. The enemy keeps people in bondage because of ignorance. And today we want to shatter one aspect of the uh, ignorance areas or the asset of ignorance that the enemy puts on people. I want to talk to you on the mystery of satanic courts. The mystery of satanic courts. The mystery of of satanic courts now spiritual ignorance of people is an asset of satan when you have spiritual when you have spiritual ignorance you have given satan an asset to fight you people cannot liberate themselves or come out of any kind of bondage they are in because they have been kept in ignorance by satan they live in denial and so the enemy is very happy when you live in the dark and you are making excuses for yourself. He is happy because he knows that you, are, you ain't going anywhere. But when you have illumination, exposition, you are taught and you have um, exposure to the truth, then you have victory over all the works of darkness. And so our assignment this morning is to give you knowledge, understanding, and then bring you deliverance from the throne room of God in Jesus' name. Through and permanent deliverance and liberty comes to you, immediately you receive the light of knowledge and exposition about the things that the enemy is hiding behind to afflict you. You receive true deliverance and liberty when illumination comes to you about the things that the enemy is hiding behind to afflict you. And that is why we are here this morning to bring us position and to let the grace of deliverance come upon you in Jesus' name. There is something called satanic courts or the courts of wickedness. These are courts that keep people in strange bondages that they do not understand. Bondages that beat their minds that they cannot apprehend and comprehend is because they are in ignorance and they live in denial. But there is always a truth. Now tell me, how can a medical doctor who has knowledge that smoking can kill and destroy continue to become a chain smoker and, and, and be smoking? Because it is because he has been bound by the cord 
of wickedness by satanic cult. He has the knowledge that smoking can destroy him. He's a medical doctor. And yet he cannot help himself but engage in smoking and in chain smoking. How can a Christian pay their tithe? Be a giver. Live the right Christian life and yet poverty and financial torture and struggles are holding the person. It is the mystery of satanic cause that keeps people in this area. It is the mystery of satanic cause. How can a strong Christian play key roles in church, live his life for Christ, and yet cannot free himself or herself from fornication and adultery? does a lot of things in church, loves the Lord, wants to serve the Lord. He's genuinely in love with Christ Jesus and yet cannot free himself or herself from fornication or chasing other people's husbands or chasing other people's wives. It is because of the cord of wickedness or the cord that I call satanic cords of wickedness. And so this, this morning, you will understand the mystery of the cords of of wickedness. Now, I, I I went to one hotel in this area, Spintex area, a couple of years back, and I was, as I was having lunch, I saw some mayhem in the hotel, and then there was this man they could not stop, was insulting everybody, the MD, the workers, and everybody was under strong alcoholic influence, and had this seep or dead of deadly uh, anger on him, and he wants to beat everybody and he was shaking and shivering so i took interest when the whole thing came down i took interest and i said sir where are you from what is the problem the man almost broke down and said i am an elder of a church i am an elder of a church may god help me i am an elder of a church in fact it was my, my wife who even uh, uh, interrogated her and him and he said i am an elder of the church and yet he cannot be break away from alcoholism and cannot break away from deadly anger that disgraces him. He will be so angry and at the end of the anger, he's disgraced and then he feels shy. How is it that a beautiful sister who owns her own business, doing well and does not re- must not rely on a man and yet goes into relationships with men who will always use her, dump her, break her heart, and all of that. And she loves the Lord, a beautiful Christian sister who has her own business. Why is it so? There is a mystery of the cord of wickedness that is holding her away from getting married or reaching the right person. Therein lies the mystery of the cause of wickedness. And this is what we want to expose this morning. I want us to read from the scriptures. Psalm 140 verse 4 and 5. Yes. From the scriptures. But I need to let you know that I'm here with uh, Minister Abismak Toglo. And Pastor Julius Kujo. Who are in the studio behind the console. Helping us with the broadcast. Now I want us to read Psalm 140 verse 4 and 5. Psalm 140 verse 4 and 5. Psalm 140, verses number 4 and 5. The Bible said, Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Yes. Preserve me from the violent men who have purpose to overthrow my goings. My God. The proud have hid a snare for me, for me and courts. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set sings, gangs for me. Seller. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Father, preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings, to disturb my rising, to stop me, to block me, to cage me, to imprison me from going forward in life. Keep me from this. And then he adds the, jug, uh, the he adds the bite in verse five. He said the proud have hid a snare, a trap, and an enchantment, a net for me. And they have hid cords. Not only have they hit a trap for me, but they have hit cords. cords. When the trap grabs you, then they throw upon you the cord to cage you. They have hit for me snares and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set jeans. Jeans are traps that are used to catch animals. But in this case, we're talking about traps that are used to catch men. And then they get into bondage that they do not understand. 
Shall we look at Psalm 129 as well? Verse 3 and 4. Psalm 129, verse 3 and 4. Always love to read the Bible for our authority and the power of God that we glean from God's throne comes from the word of God. Psalm 129, verse 3 and 4. Verse 3 and 4. The plowers plowed upon my back. They have made long their force. The Lord is righteous. He had cut asunder the cords of the wicked. The plowers plow upon my back. They disturb me. They are always persecuting me. They are always coming after me. But the Lord, verse 4, read it again for me, verse 4. Verse 4 says something. But the Lord has cut asunder the cords of the wicked. The Lord, read it for me. The Lord has cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Verse 4. The Verse 4. Yes. The Lord is righteous. The Lord is righteous. He has cut asunder, he has cut asunder the court of the, the wicked. The courts. Read it well. Verse 3 is plural. The courts of the, the wicked. The courts of the wicked. Mm. It's not one court. Yeah. Courts of the wicked. The enemy has various kinds of courts. We'll expose a few that we have here. Various kinds of courts. Chains and ropes of darkness that he used to capture people. I'm telling you, I have seen born again Christians because sometimes I'm telecasting to everybody, but I'm interested in Christians as well, mostly, you know. And, and for anybody who is listening, that Christians must be able to appropriate the, the grace of God to live the life that God has assigned to them. That you can be a Christian and be free from the courts of darkness. And yet there are many because of ignorance are still, you know, languishing under the bondage and the courts of darkness. It says that the court, the Lord is righteous. He has cut asunder the courts of the wicked. By the time we are done with this broadcast, may the Lord shatter every court of darkness holding you. Every family court, every court of curses, every court of your tribe, every court of the environment you live in, every court of your cortic, every court of idolatry, every court of adultery and fornication, every court of sin. May the Lord break it from your neck in Jesus' name. There's an anointing. When you read Proverbs, I mean Job 36 verse 8, we'll not read that. Job 36 verse 8, you can write it and read it later on. Job talks about courts of affliction. Courts of affliction. When you read Proverbs 5.22, he talks about courts of sin. So there is a court of affliction that the enemy can put upon you so that you are constantly afflicted. You come out of one affliction, you enter into another affliction. You come out of one affliction, you enter into another affliction. There are courts and courts of affliction can make you cast your, cast your stars. The Bible says, by the reason, it says affliction can make a man mad. Affliction can make a wise man mad. Because of affliction, you see people walking on the streets and they are talking to themselves, not because they are using Bluetooth, but they, they are thinking about things that are eating them up. They didn't finish thinking about them in the bedroom. They've taken it onto the street as they are, as they are walking, they are talking, they've turned into mad people. Not because they are not wise, but it's because of the affliction of darkness. May the Lord shatter every affliction assigned against you in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, may the Lord shatter every affliction assigned against you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, my purpose and our purpose is that the Lord shall bring you deliverance. Jesus. Now, what are the courts of wickedness? What are satanic courts? What are the courts of wickedness? i give you a few definitions that will help you understand. Number one, courts of wickedness is a satanic rope or the satanic ropes or chains that a person is tied with in the realms of the spirit, not physical, tied within the realms of the spirit so that they cannot free themselves from the problem they are going through. They are tied, they are walking freely, they are well dressed, they are walking freely on earth, but they have a particular area of their life that has been tied with the cause of wickedness so they can free themselves. What are the cause of wickedness? Number two, they are the problems that the enemy uses to tie people to his kingdom and to himself so that the victim cannot free themselves. The devil can put some problem on you eh, that even when they tell you to go to church, you are free to go to church. He has 
provide you with a cord of problems such that you cannot liberate yourself from the place you are. You are an idol, idol worshiper. You are in the wrong religion. You know you are in the wrong place. And yet because of certain cords that have, have been laid on you, you cannot free yourself. What are the cords of wickedness? Any instrument of darkness used to cage a person to limit them in life beyond which they cannot progress. So the thing is tied to you. You want to free yourself. It's like a, you've tied a rope to the neck of, uh, say, a goat. The goat or the dog wants to free themselves, and yet they can't go. Beyond a certain level, they cannot access the goodness of life. What are cause of wickedness? A satanic glue or the glue of darkness, glue, glue, that prevents you from giving or going into greener pastures and to move on well in your life. Anything that is used as a glue to glue you to one spot such that you cannot advance beyond a certain level and that you live in financial bondage just because of the glue and the cord of darkness. What are the cause of wickedness? It is the mystery of satanic policemen and military men. I am a deliverance minister. I speak these tokens and I will explain them to you. It is the mystery of satanic policemen and military men who arrest people and re-arrest them when they want to free themselves. How many of you have been drunk before and you see policemen chasing you or armed men chasing you? It is the Lord telling you that there is a cord on you that because you are trying to free yourself, the enemy has reactivated the spiritual policeman to come after you and arrest you and put you into the prison where you are start trying to free yourself from. This is the mystery of the cause of wickedness. What is the cause of wickedness? It is the problem of satanic border checks and bus stops. Please, these are tokens of deliverance, and I'll explain them to you. It is the problem of satanic border checks and bus stops that prevent people from moving on to the next level. Now, in the realms of the spirit, there are border checks. You may not see them physically. Some of you who dream can dream and see them. Where you see that you have prayed and prayed to free yourself. And as God is about to free you, now they bring some border checks. They are checking your passport in the realms of the spirit so that you cannot have access to the next level where you are aiming to go. There are satanic bus stops where the devil brings you and prevents you from accessing your next level in life. What are the cause of wickedness? They are problems. They are problems that put a man into a perpetual satanic traffic jam. They are problems that put a man into a perpetual satanic traffic jam so that they cannot make any movement in life. Perpetual satanic traffic jam. For those of you who have dreamt before, you dreamt or you saw a vision and you are behind traffic. You are There's a traffic light that is blocking you from going or you are behind some long queue or you are behind some long traffic jam. When would that traffic you know, be cleared for you to go? The enemy has put you into a perpetual perpetual traffic jam as a bondage so you cannot free yourself to excel. What are the cause of wickedness? They are instruments of wickedness that keep a person under a particular sin that they cannot free themselves from. There are people who want to be free from a particular sin. Sometimes there will be certain sin. And they cannot because there is a wicked cord, a secret cord that is holding them. That's what uh, Job um, Job um, chapter 36 verse 8 speaks about. That's what Proverbs 2, 25, 22 speaks about. Proverbs 5, 20, 22 speaks about the cords of sin such that the person cannot come out. I want to come to you now, by exposing some kinds of uh, evil cults that we have. And then, if you are seeing any of these things in your life, note them down. Write them down. And be able to write and then pray them out of your life. Or pray yourself out of them. The kinds or the types of evil cults. Number one, we have soul tie cults. Soul tie 
Thai courts. So Thai courts are courts that people enter into in their past relationship with a man or a woman, and now they cannot free themselves. The person has moved on, has moved on, has been married, but they cannot free their hearts from the person. They may be even married now, but even though they are married to a new man or a new woman, they are thinking about their ex because their souls are tied and it is afflicting their marriage. So ties are so strong that it is one of the mysteries that keeps people away from marrying because their souls are glued and tied to a man or a woman of their past that they cannot free themselves. There are men who can be married and they are married and they have a wife and they have children and they still are going after their old girlfriend because their souls are tied to them and they cannot free themselves. So one kind of the cause of darkness is the soul tie cord. The other one is tribal cords tribal courts. Some people are so tribalistic that they do not even want to do business with people that will bless them and yet come from a different tribe. Tribal courts are dangerous courts that the enemy uses. There are people who have vowed I will not marry anybody from, a, from another tribe. People ask me, why is it that an Zimmer man like you, you married a, an Elwe? I said, well, that is the person that God wanted me to marry for my destiny to arrive at the place that God wants me to go. I could have married an Zima, but I'm not a tribally oriented person. Tribal courts can limit your life. What are some of the kinds of courts, satanic courts that we have? Or courtic oaths and cases. Occultic oaths and curses. If you have been in the occult, and right now, occultism is very common. I'm a pastor, I'm a deliverance minister. I deal with this most of the time. People have their husbands entering into all manner of courts in Ghana and in Accra, especially. And uh, people have all these young uh, executives and corporate persons w- walking into occult. They don't even know what they're walking into binding their lives, destroying their lives and their children's lives for the momentary you know, gratifications and success that they will have for, uh, from the assurances of these court groups. So occultic oaths and curses, when you go into the occult in your initiation process, they will, they will put curses on you. That will prevent you from exiting. When you dare exit from the curse, you are born again. But let me tell you the curses are there. And the curses will become a cord or a ladder through which they will come against you. Because you took yourself there. You willfully took yourself there. And you made a covenant. You made an oath. And they put a curse. Look, they put curses on you. Every initiation process in the occult will put a curse on you. And then when you come out for the oath you made, for the curse you made, the curse that was put, was put on you. Now it becomes a satanic cord holding you backwards. Number five, what are some of the kinds of cords of wickedness? Evil name cords. Evil name cords. Uh, brothers and sisters, watch how you name your children. I have been doing naming ceremonies. Anytime I go, if it's in a different language, Nigerian or whatever, or Hausa or Northern, I'll ask you what is the meaning. I've had the cause to advise people to change the names of their children. Because the name you put on a child can have an influence. This is Bible. Can have an influence on them. If you put an idol's name on them. I was once called, when I was born, I was called uh, Tanoe Amanizima, which is River Tano. Because in my family, they were serving the Tanoe God. And every firstborn of every man of my family must be called Tanwe. So my father called me Tanwe. When I grew up and became born again, it was still on me. Until I saw that it was coming after me, that Tanwe River was coming after me. And then I proactively deleted the name from my life. When the blood of Jesus did deliverance and prayed. Do you know one day I was doing deliverance in my church. And the Tano River manifested in the lady. And said by you cry you were once my subject. I said no more. I said no more. So the devil knew because the name was on me. So we have the tribal or evil name court as well. Then number the other court that we have. Court of wickedness. Court of blood covenant. Some of you who were young, you were so much in love. My first love, you cut yourself, you exchange your blood and all of that. You don't know what you are putting yourself into. One day a lady came to church and I had to be doing deliverance on her on blood covenant she had with a, uh, a boyfriend who has moved on to marry and she can't marry and the boyfriend is not enjoying her marriage. I, I don't want to go to that kind of deliverance again. 
you break, you break, and several spirits manifest. This and all the spirits are manifesting that we were interested in the covenant they entered into. So we are also we also have taken a part in in the covenant. Blood covenants can create evil cults in your life. The other cult I want you to understand is the cult of geographical area and place of birth. You can live in an area where the devil has cursed the land and becomes a cult and everybody who lives there. The area is cursed. The area is under a serious limitation, stagnation, embargo. You go and live there and if you don't proactively exempt yourself from the curse and the limitation and the satanic order that has been put there, you will see yourself suffering and manifesting the curses. You may be a Christian. Uh, uh, you know, Jeremiah, was it, that the Lord told him, that don't pray for these people. Don't even marry from, from there. For these people are cursed. He said, even, even Moses and someone come to pray, I will not hear. These people are cursed. There is a geographical area that holds a curse and a place of birth that holds a curse. And everybody who was born in that area is under similar curse of limitation, backwardness, stagnation, failure, and all sorts of problems. What are the causes? Of uh, wickedness, familiar spirits and witchcraft, and witchcraft cause. Familiar spirits and witchcraft cause. There are people that I have prayed for, and then when I'm praying for, I say, familiar spirit, familiar spirit. Now, what it means is that that person is a blind witch. It's a blind witch. And the person, some people are there, so they are prophetic. And ladies, and I saw, I, I don't go by people, can, and I dreamt, and I saw, and I saw there are people who have familiar spirits and can see because it is in their blood, it's in their family. They are witches on the blind side, and they don't know. And then it comes and sometimes manifests, and they go into active witchcraft, familiar spirits, and witchcraft courts when the people in your family father is a wizard mother is a witch this one uncle is a wizard or aunt, auntie is a witch uncle is a wizard and uh, siblings and cousins are witches and you are in that family you must do a serious programming of deliverance on yourself because there is a covenant of witchcraft and that becomes a court on you which other courts of wickedness do we have courts from evil consumption <laughs> people have Drunk concussion from malams, from marabus, from juju men, fetish priests, from spiritualists, from uh, altar priests and priestesses, and they think that they have walked away for free. Ah, you are a liar. You are a liar. So that, that thing you consume there has become a cord linking you to that fetish altar. You may be born again. You've given your life to Christ. I bless the Lord for your life. It's a good start point because you are on the way to deliverance. But if you don't actively, actively break the concoctions you drank, the, the link you had, because some things that you drank when you were in the world, some of you have been to all manner of otters and juju shrines, and you've eaten all sorts of things from malams, from juju men, priests, uh, uh, fetish priests, priestesses, spiritualists, and all of that. I tell you that you must break them. And I, if, if you haven't broken them, and God hasn't broken them in, from your life, to this morning, the Lord shall do you good and shatter them in Jesus' name. Now, I want to also let you know, sometimes people go and buy some food and eat. And after that, they enter into some problems. Because a cord has been put there by the mere fact of the food you consume. So be very careful. From where you eat, and be very careful that you pray very well on your food before you eat them. Because food and consumption, water, and all manner of things can bring you evil calls. What are some of the calls we have? The evil spiritual consultations. Now, when you go and consult the fetish priests and all of that, you've not worked through, you have established a link, a cord between you and them. And whenever they want people to strike or to use for something, you are in their bank. They will come after you. You have drawn a line. Somebody who did not know you before now knows you, knows your house, has a connection with you and can come after you. What are the cause of wickedness? We have the cause of fake pastors. 
There are people who have been connected to fake pastors and they cannot free themselves. They are being lied to. They are being defrauded. They are being, um, they are being defrauded and, and, and their money, they are being lied to, deceived and their monies are being taken from them. They are getting poorer. Their lives are going down and yet they cannot have that spiritual visibility and understanding to free themselves from these fake pastors. What are some of the courts of wickedness? The last one I give you is the court of umbilical, the court, the umbilical courts, the umbilical courts. This is a serious one. This is bondage that we get from the person that gave birth to you. If you were in the womb of a witch, an active witch, for nine months, I submit to you that you were a witch. Just that maybe you do not know you are a blind witch. Your mother was a witch. You were in her womb nine months, feeding you, taking you to witchcraft covens. Ha, my brother, you are one of them. You have to actively come under deliverance. Because you see, if you don't break that, eventually in your life, and even in your Christian life, if you grow cold, I bet you, you end up consorting witchcraft, consorting or evil authors, and even become an occultic person, just because you were born in that covenant, the umbilical cord from which you were giving back has placed you under a serious trouble. So, these are very important. The last ones I want to mention to you, religious group courts, people who are under some kinds of religion and they know this place I am is no good and they cannot because they do not want you know, to be loved at or mocked or be persecuted. Social groups and friends courts. There are evil friends you are working with. You yourself, you know this one is an evil friend. And yet you cannot come out of, out of them because you, are, you have been bound to them. And let me tell you, some of these friendships that we have, I mean, friendships are things that God really gave to us. You must have friends. I'm telling you, you must have friends. Those who say that friends are not good, they are liars. The Bible talks about friends. You must have friends, good friends. But there are some friends these days who become authorities in your life. I spoke to one lady one time about her marriage and it was a friend who stood up to oppose what i'm saying yeah i said oh but this brother over there can be very suited to you i mean can be very good to you immediately i said that her friend's face was a fair lady became green and the friend opposed it these are evil friend calls that we have the devil uses all of these things we have done in the past the times of our ignorance when we're in the world and we're doing many things, consulting devils, going to shrines and, you know, sleeping with multiple women and men and doing all manner of things. And, you know, the times, those times of ignorance that we did not know, the devil knew what he was saying. Look, I have said always, you can call the devil many names. What you cannot call Satan is that he's a fool. You can't. Even if you say he's a fool, it's you who, who is a fool. He's not because he's strategically aware of what he's doing. That he knows one day you become born again. Now that being born again, born again has become fashionable. People know that Christ is the real deal. Ar- Arabs are becoming born again. Muslims are becoming born again. Jew men are becoming born again, and all of that. It's becoming fashionable. The devil knew that you become born again, and so when he was taking you through those things, he was putting cuts on you, knowing that one day you will battle with it. May the Lord have mercy and shatter those cords in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we finish, how do I come out? What should I do to address these cords of wickedness? Look, one and most paramount thing that you must do is to surrender your life to the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the salvation of God brought unto man. Jesus himself said, over 2008, 2020 years ago, he said it. In Jerusalem, he walked there and said it publicly. And it has not faded away. That I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You can choose to wind around and go to all manner of religions and awkward groups and all of that. These awkward people that are now in government and in relationship and the thing they are enjoying. Oh, no, I pity you. We have been there before. It will not end well with you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He is the only solution. Surrender yourself to him and let him take over. Number two, 
Now you do a strategic search. Listen to me. This is a broadcast and I want you to help. I want you to help yourself and I want to help you too. Do a strategic search through your life and identify the cause that the enemy is using against you. You can see the areas where you have struggled. You have been to prophets after prophets and pastors after pastors but and the anointed men of God and yet you are going through that same thing. That strategic search, do it. Identify it. And then after you identify it, enter into personal fastings. I, I don't mind you. I have counseling sessions and people come and God gives them testimonies and all of that. But I also believe in personal things. When the thing, you are the one that thing is affecting, you feel it better than the pastor. Enter into personal fasting programs to free yourself with targeted prayer points and prayers. Number four, what you do is that take advantage of today, right now. Our broadcast prayers, our deliverance prayers, as we raise them, pray them like your head does not belong to you. If you are driving, pack. Of course, if you are in the hotel room, sit up. Wherever you are and you are watching us, sit up and pray these 10 prayer points we're going to pray right now. And I believe by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, one of the prayer points you pray shall completely shatter the cause of darkness in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Right now, if you haven't given your life to Christ, the first step you must take, give your life to Christ. Because if you have not given your life to Christ, all these prayer points will not help you. And so I want to, tell, I want to lead you to Christ before I continue with the prayer points. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I have been messing up. I've been messing up. I have been walking without you. I've been walking without today, you. Today, I surrender my I life. Surrender my life. Truthfully. Truthfully. Completely. To you, to you. Please take control of my life. Please take control of my Come life. live in me. Come live in me and help me live for you. And help, help me live for you. Write my name. Write my name in the book of life. In the book of life. Seal me. Seal me with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. And keep me. And keep me in the hollow of your hands. In the hollow of your hands. From falling back. From falling back into the world. Into the world. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you genuinely and rightfully pray this prayer. The Lord has forgiven you. He has brought you into the kingdom of light, translating you from the kingdom of darkness. But the genuineness of your repentance is more important. And then continue to go to church, get a Bible, start reading Bible and praying. Let people teach you how to remain and stay in the Lord. Go to your church and associate yourself with somebody who is genuinely a Christian and let them help you. Or your pastor, tell them to help you grow up in the Lord. Now I want us to pray. For all of us who have prayed and for all of us who are Christians who are listening to the broadcast, please close your eyes and tell the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Any sin in your life that will not make these prayers work for you, Father, forgive us. Pray. The Lord is very merciful. Jesus, uh, Moses said, the Lord will abundantly pardon pray that God will forgive you of any sin that has created a ladder giving access to Satan in your life Father have mercy Father forgive Father have mercy Father forgive Father have mercy Father have mercy Father forgive Father have mercy Father forgive Father have mercy Father forgive Wash away the sins of God Wash away every evil Wash away all our sins Purge In Jesus' name we pray now pray these prayers like your life depends on them. Mm -hmm. And I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I believe in the Holy Spirit of truth that you shall receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Say anything I got myself into. Anything I got myself into. In my past. In my past. That Satan is using. That Satan is using. To afflict my life now. To afflict my life now. By the power. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. 
let your evil let your evil let your evil hold let your evil hold on me on me break and die anything that i got myself into in my past that satan is using to afflict my life now by the power in the blood of jesus let your evil hold be broken let it break and die break and die in Jesus' name, Zibri Anta Tapada, Shubri Eleba Hande Kradusi, Pasata Prakadushi, Ibra Anda Kadadusi, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die, die now, die now, Rakata Talianaba, Ekoto Lianaba, Tete Ledebe, die in the name of Jesus, die, 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 Suti Prakadisha, die, Shibri Andalia, die, Marabasunti Prakadisha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every witchcraft cord. Every witchcraft cord. Every witchcraft cord. Holding me to one spot. Holding me to one spot. Scatter. Scatter. And let me be free. And let me be free. Say break and scatter. Break and scatter. And let me be free. And let me be free. Every witchcraft cord. Every witchcraft cord. Holding me. Holding me. To one spot. To one spot. As I pray right As now, I pray right in now. the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, break and scatter, break and scatter, and let me be free, and let me be free right now. Break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, and break and scatter, 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 in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of in the name of Jesus, in the name of in the name of in the name of in Jesus' in name, we pray. Say satanic chains, satanic chains, satanic chains, satanic chains of poverty, of poverty, of marital troubles, of marital troubles, of health problems, of health problems, of financial struggles, of financial struggles, academic challenges, academic challenges, career challenges, career challenges in my life, in my life, as I pray right as now. I pray right say now. satanic chains, satanic chains, creating poverty, creating poverty, marital troubles, marital troubles, health problems. Problems, health problems, financial struggles, financial struggles academic, challenges, academic challenges, career challenges, career challenges in my life. In my life, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. Break scatter. Break Somebody scatter. pray right now. Break and scatter, la brande, break and scatter, la brande. Satanic things, creating poverty, licking poverty, creating marital troubles, creating health troubles, creating financial troubles, creating academic challenges, creating career. In my life, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, break and scatter. 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 My hands to as I put my hands and as together. I pray right now, and I pray. break and die, break and die, break and die. Break and Somebody die. pray that prayer, break and die in the name Set of Jesus Christ. Or caught it change, break and scatter, stagnating my life, limiting my life, or caught it change, pursuing my life, break and die, break and die, break and die, break and die, break and die. Let the chains break. Let the chains break. Let the chains break. Father, let the chains break. Scatter by fire. Father, let the chains break. Pray by fire. Father, let the chains break. Pray by fire. Jesus, let the chains break. Pray by fire. Holy Ghost, let the chains break. Pray by fire. 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 Let the chains break. Pray by f
Let the chains break. 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 In Jesus' name Jesus. we pray. Amen. Say every bondage. Every bondage. In my life. In my life. That flowed. That flowed. From my mother. From my mother. Or my father. Or my father. As I put my hands together. As I put my hands together. And as I pray right now. And I pray right break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. And let me be free. And let me be free. Break by fire. Break by fire. Somebody pray that prayer. Break by fire. Pray that prayer. Be free. Every bondage in my life that flowed or is flowing from my mother, from my father. Break by fire. 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 Break by fire
We have two more prayer points to go. Mm. Say chains of darkness. Chains of darkness. Holding me to backwardness. Holding me to backwardness. Chains of darkness. Chains of darkness. Holding me to stagnancy. Holding me to stagnancy. Chains of darkness. Chains of darkness. Holding me to limitation. Holding me to limitation. Chains of darkness. Chains of darkness. Holding me to failure. Holding me to failure. Chains of darkness. Chains of darkness. Holding me. Holding me to a roundabout life. A roundabout as I put my hands together. As I put my and as I pray right now. And I pray. Break. Break. Scatter. Scatter. And let me go. And let me go. Break. Break. Scatter. Scatter. And let me go. Let me go. Break. Break. Scatter. Scatter. And let me go. Let me go. Somebody must pray. Scatter. Somebody must pray. Let me go. Yeah. Somebody must pray. Yeah. Chains of darkness. Yeah. Holding me to backwardness. Yeah. To stagnancy. Yeah. To limitation. To failure. To the life I run about life. Yeah. Break. Scatter. And let me go. Yeah. Break. Scatter. And let me go. Break. Scatter. And let me go. Break. Scatter. And let me go. Maya Baraba. Maya Baraba. Maya Baraba. Maya Baraba. Maya Baraba. Maya Baraba. In the name of Jesus. Say voices of witchcraft. Voices of witchcraft. Circulating my name. Circulating my name. Voices of witchcraft. Voices of witchcraft. Circulating my name. Circulating. Die, 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 die. Prayer, 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 prayer. Voices, Voices, of of Voices of witchcraft. Circulating my name. Yes, Lord. Die, 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 Lamaya bo sakaraba. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say, Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. This is our last prayer point. Say, Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Break the yokes in my life. Break the yokes in my life. And let me make progress. And let me make progress. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Break the yokes in my life. Break the yokes in my life. And let me make progress. And let me make Somebody progress. must pray the prayer. Oh God, Maya bakata. arise. And break the Shaya yoke bakata. of my life. Shaya bakata. Shandili bede bakata. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for that sister over there Amen. who has this heaviness in the legs. Mm. That you feel physically the heaviness. Mm. When right. you are walking, you feel the heaviness. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all. Although you are feeling it physically as a heavy leg or heavy legs, mm. in the realms of the spirit, Jesus. you have been made stagnant. Jesus. Your legs have been made so heavy there is no movement. Mm. There is no progress by the anointing, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Let that bondage, bondage. in your legs Jesus. lose his hold. 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 Come out. Come out. Jesus. You, that person over there, Jesus. you consumed some food mm. and immediately. Immediately you felt there was something wrong. Mm, and God. since then you have not been yourself. Allah, By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I command that evil. Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Holy Ghost. Come out. Holy Ghost. Come out. Fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Christ. I speak to that person over there. Mm. You are sensing death following you. Jesus. You close your eyes, you see it. Mm. You dream, you see it. Mm. Even when you are talking among your friends, you feel there's a presence with you. Mm. The presence of the agent of death and hell. Da, 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 da. You that agent, you agent of death and hell. Yes. Of the dark 
abyss that has been sent to call this person into the grave. I bind you. I throw you out. I bind I throw you out. I bury you. I throw you out. I bury you. Come out of your life. You shall not pursue that person again. La brahaske de kepo unta karahashia, zubre enta kadishi para kadusia, masunte para kadishi kipahanda karakoshi, zubre ende siki fakatiki imprahanda skatusia, maya bara bara boshia. Anybody listening to me, a lady who is calling, sir, prophet, speak to me. You are saying this, prophet, speak to me. Sir, sir, prophet, speak to me. I speak to you. Liberty has come to you. Yes, Lord. Liberty has come to you. Yes, Lord. You shall begin to see physical evidence. Jesus. Progress and movement. There shall be movements in your life. Yes, Lord. By the close of this year, mm. the Lord is bringing onto your life Jesus. three movements. Three positive movements that will change your story. Professor. Three positive movements. By the end of the year, mm. even before the year ends, come you Jesus. begin to call me to testify. Jesus. Let me tell you, let mm. people talk against the prophetic. Mm. Let people who feel subservient, mm. feel inadequate, speak against the prophetic. Some of us will bear that name. The prophetic is pure and clean. Yes, it has come to stay. Mm. Right now, you have many prophets. It's not bad. Mm. It is the spirit of God doing this in the last days. Yes, Lord. It is not bad to have many prophets mm. because it is the grace of the last days. Jesus. If you have the spiritual eyes to know, the devil is doing some terrible things. Mm. The Lord needs prophets in the system. Yes, Lord. Who will see into the realms of the who spirit? Will see into the realms of the spirit. Who will know the source of the problem? Yes. And bring them out. Mm. Don't compare two prophets. Don't compare. For every prophetic grace mm. has its own dimension mm. and operation. The prophetic must be defended. There could be charlatans. I'm just adding this. But there are people who are truly born again, purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ, mm. who have the grace of the prophetic on them. Yes. Therefore, I speak to your life now. Yes. As you have been part of this broadcast, mm. in this week, mm, this week, the Lord shall cause you to see goodness. Amen. Listen to me. You will see goodness. Amen. Let me say this. If you have your phone, would you raise it? Maybe you are watching with your phone. Don't mind. You raise it. Mm. Have your phone raised. I want to make declarations. Jesus. I use your phone as a talking as a point of contact. Yes. Let God cause breakthrough calls to come to you this Jesus. week. Breakthrough calls will come to you this week. Amen. Let God put money in your mobile account. Amen. People who must wire money to you shall wire. Jesus. I command their spirits to wire. Holy Ghost. Men and women who must financially support you will support you. Amen. Men that God has anointed and ordained to be a blessing to you, they shall connect to you by your phone. Amen. They shall connect to you by your phone. By fire. This week, your phone shall bring you blessings. Jesus. So I speak to this phone yes, that has never been receiving any positive calls. Mm. I shatter that yoke. Shatter. Begin to receive calls of breakthroughs. I receive. In Jesus' name. Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. Father, establish and give your people testimonies. Amen. If you have any testimony, you can also share with us on our page and so that we can share with people after we prayed for you the things you saw the evidence of the goodness of God on your life let us see so that we can also share with others and encourage others amen now I want to tell you that today is our uh, first broadcast and these are refreshing moments coming to you from Mountain of Grace and Deliverance Ministries um, based in Spintus area in the Tema uh, Greater Accra area but uh, on Tuesday, from 12 noon or 12 GMT to 1, 13 GMT or 1 p.m., will come your way with the message and deliverance for career and business elevation. And then on Fridays, every Friday, we'll have our half nights from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. That is um, 22 GMT to... 00 GMT and the Lord will do you good and show you his goodness in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Jehovah. 
God bless you for tuning in to our Facebook Live um, broadcast from Mountain of Grace and Deliverance Ministries. My name is Reverend Prophet Isaac Kujo. I'll come to you again on Tuesdays, every Tuesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. or 12 GMT to 13 GMT. And then on, on Fridays as, as well, we'll come to you um, for our midnight or half night service from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. That is 20. 2 GMT to 00 GMT. For those of you who are outside of Ghana, you can tune in and listen to us. It will be a message of deliverance and the prophetic and healings and deliverance will happen as you connect and the Lord will do you good. But I also want to let you know for those of you who live in Accra that we have our counseling sessions and at my residence, the Holy Ghost Firehouse uh, in the Bachuna area on the Spinters Road. Um, you can connect with us and call us on 54 um, 6 918 0546-918-767. On Tuesdays, we have a counseling session that begins from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. And many people are receiving miracles and many things, many testimonies from these counseling sessions. And on Fridays as well, we have the counseling session from 2 p.m. same time to 7 p.m. And uh, when you connect with us on YouTube, uh, or on Facebook and on the number I've given you, you can come for this counseling. If you want to connect with us on YouTube, you just uh, uh, enter Reverend Isaac Kujo and you have all our messages and the Lord will do you good on YouTube. You connect with us on Kujo Isaac. God bless you. Come your way very soon. Thank you.